Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left-hand corner, we have DeWalt starting as the orange Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Karasi starting as the blue Zerg. I believe this is on... I, th I thought I saw that this was on Fighting Spirit. Yeah, Fighting Spirit, once again. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This is going to be the fifth match between these two. I want to say that this is... I don't know if this is in order or not, based on the replays I got. And I don't know if this is the entirety of the tournament or not, actually. But this may be the finals. Check out the Team Liquid thread that I have pasted, hopefully, in the description between the two. Either way, this has been an extremely exciting series between these guys. And this is the sort of thing, and I guess this is the perfect way to do an announcement tournament, because this is the sort of play you can expect out of the BSL Season 13 Gosu League, or I guess the, was that Champions League? The top league <laughs> of, uh, I need to go back and study all the, there's the, because there's Gosu League, Pro League, Pro League is the top league. Um, Gosu League obviously has really high level games as well. Um, it kind of feeds in there. It looks like we are going to see another nine pool opener from Crossy. DeWalt gonna get first scout off, so he's gonna be able to get this probe right into his opponent's base. Overlord's making its way up to the nine o'clock location. <clears throat> so he, or sorry, to the upper left-hand corner. So he is gonna be able to see what DeWalt's up to. DeWalt actually even hiding this probe. So he saw the edge of the creep and pulled his probe back and so he's keeping it on the edge to prevent vision. He was waiting to see if a drone was making its way across. And without seeing the drone, he knows that it's going to end up being a spawning pool first. I wonder if there's ever been a gas steal in the history of Protoss versus Zerg, and if that how that paid off. Overlord in production, but that this drone is going to be able to do a bit of harassment. Kind of move back, tap, uh, tap and run, tap and run. We are seeing a forge first opener for DeWalt. And I think this is a intelligent play from his end of things, because he knows he's not going to get a lot accomplished with against the uh, initial Zerglings with his Zealot. Still trying to get as much annoyance done as possible. Nice bit of kiting there from that drone. That drone making its way out towards that 9 o'clock, or sorry, that, I keep saying 9 o'clock for some reason, that natural expansion. There is going to be an initial interruption from DeWalt, so buying himself a bit of time here. The dr Zerglings peeling the way out. Is that drone? Oh, and a pylon wall. So manor, not exactly a manor pylon, but basically spending the 33 resources where you can cancel it to just get a bit of economic damage done. The Overlord floating towards the front, two photon cannons being placed. But here are the implications for the minigame. So that delays the hatchery a bit, but the Nexus is also delayed. Oh, that Overlord needs to actually move back, I think, a pixel. Yeah, because it's taking a bit of damage. But the critical thing as well, though, is as these Zerglings make their way up, they are going to be in a good position to swat down any additional scout that moves out for DeWalt. So the, there will be a gateway seal, but beyond that, Cro keep in mind, Crossy's pretty good at taking out additional scouting information. It looks like he's going to head and plop down that 6 o'clock base. He's grabbed his extractor as well. So that's good. And, and Crossy does a lot with that empty information. Pylon warping in. So we'll see what DeWalt does as far as his build order. It's going to be on DeWalt to find that scouting information to because Crossy could do anything here. He could just go for that standard macro game. He could go into that four hatch play. He could go Spire. I think that's the one thing I have not seen him do quite yet is to just opt for that straight Mutalisk play. And I'm wondering because Crossy's Crossy and likes keeping his opponents off guard and because he has yet to go for Mutalisks in this matchup, Cybernetic Score warping in. I'm wondering if he's going to opt to go Mutalisks this time, just to see if he can, yeah, do some economic damage. So the Zerg, this is going to be critical. So the probe moving out, Crossy, looking to pin it in the corner, nice end around. And this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be the critical thing for DeWalt, is can he somehow get this probe? Or maybe even, is he going to send a second probe out? Brilliant. Okay, so moving an initial probe out, to distract this and sending a second probe. And you can see how much, and yes, that's gonna hurt his economy a little bit, but that is gonna be critical. And Crossy trying to move across the map to intercept this probe before it gets either to spot that third base or that natural expansion. It's gonna see that natural expansion. The drone trying to block the ramp, but this is still a decent amount of information to glean. You can kind of get a good look at the probe count at the, sorry, the drone counts at that natural. He's going to try to make his way towards the 6 o'clock base. We do see, looks like three drones being built there, which usually suggests that we're seeing, a, no, we are seeing a Spire first play. So DeWalt 
able to send out double probes. It actually got that main probe back. Assimilator warping in. There's that Stargate as well. And is the Zergling? Oh, for a second there, I thought the Zergling might run into the cannon. So actually, and not only did he get that scouting information at that natural, he was able... Oh, the careful Zerglings. Two of them losing their lives. Level 1 weapons upgrading. Not only was he able to get that information, he was able to keep both probes alive. Fourth hatch being plopped down. I think uh, Crossy realizing, okay, you scouted it. I'm just going to go into five hatch Muta and, and play the game from there. Crossy should be able to scout this, though. He should be able to get the Corsair there, get the cannons down. The, needs to save a little bit of minerals at this stage of things. But typically what happens from this stage on is, is the Mutalisks can provide a bit of map control. And then it becomes, you know, the High Templar escort, essentially. Having the Corsair count, the Dragoons, everything else, as, and the, the Mutalisks in the mid-game end up being kind of the uh, snipers for the Zerg army. And we are going to see it looks like five Mutalisks immediately, because I believe there's going to be sufficient gas, close to sufficient gas for that to happen. The Corsair moving in is going to see those Mutalisks in production. Might be able to get this first Overlord. And the Zealots actually marching their way out as well, the Zerglings, just letting them move across. This is going to force additional production from Crossy. And additionally, here's the thing, Mutalisks trying to kill Zealots underneath. It takes them a long time to do so. Crossy also in the red. The Zerglings walking up, it looks like distracting the Zealots a little bit. The Zealots actually going to return home. And it looks like, Cro looks like DeWalt is happy doing the economic damage he did. He is going to have to warp in some cannons at that natural expansion at the main. The Zerglings getting wiped out and the mutalisks regathering if, with the five mutalisks you can snipe single probes however with three corsair and cannon on the front and he looks like crossy gonna go for it anyway wasn't i don't think he was able to get quite a kill there didn't have the full grouping the zealots marching the way back across a slew of zerglings and mutalisks to kind of greet them in the mid game and right now as things kind of settling down for both players level one weapons being upgraded Templar Archives warping in, so it looks like DeWalt is saying, uh, yeah, I'm going to just seize air control. I'm going to rest air control. And I like that play because so often if you do not just swap these Mutalisks out of the air with your Corsairs, they make you pay, and a, a player like Crossy will make you pay for it. He will take out all of your High Templar before they're really able to be fielded. Decent amount of zealots on the front door. It looks like there's an additional hatch and a evolution chamber and a creep colony being planted at the 6 o'clock location. Hydra stun down. Hydra speed as well. The Scourge... Try so basically the Mutalus trying to bait out the Corsair. The Scourge want to jump on top of one of those Corsairs in the meantime. A single Zergling getting wiped out. Zelt leg speed there. Moving out initially, but then drawing back. Mostly to keep Crossy away from this probe line in case he wanted to dive in and get some hits here and there. Something colony... A good Sim City at the 6 o'clock location. Second Sunk Colony uh, right there. No third gas yet for Crossy. And as things stand, DeWalt is at his 44 probe count. He is getting his additional... Looking for additional gateway behind... There it is. Has the additional gateways behind it. I believe he's going to start fielding Dark Templar rather than High Templar. Usually with this... Uh, well, I take that back. I don't think that's current meta. Especially with the Sim City. Not sure why I said that. I think it's just because the Templar got... Anyway, getting Psy Storm, getting his High Templar up. Ignore that thought. Scourge taking a bit of damage, trying to chase additional Corsair down. One trying to sneak in. You can see Crossy desperately wants to wipe these Corsair out. They are at the 7 count. They have that plus 1 weapons, which means they can just shred through everything in the air. So these Mutalisks are not going to be long for life. A couple Scourge... Kind of just out in the field hoping and, and once you have enough corsair as well they can just scoot in pick off the scourge and then scoot right back out additional preventatory cannon warping in but it looks like crossy is happy to just sit back and try to macro up from here range is going to be upgraded he's going to have this hydralisks out and it is turning into it looks like more of a long-term macro oriented match as far as and usually what can be the winning factor there is upgrades Right now, Crossy is behind in the overall upgrade count. This is a significant amount of Zealots and High Templar on the front. And that is three cannons. Looks like the Mutals try to sneak through, maybe trying to catch a High Templar. Two additional gateways being plopped down. I'm wondering if DeWalt is going to wait for that robotics facility before shifting out, or if he is going to try to just push out with what he has here. 
is moving out. The Mulisk's getting wiped out before they're even able, well, it looks like they were able to pick off one High Templar, but one High Templar for all of your air is actually a pretty decent exchange, plus an Overlord. I think DeWalt is, yeah, starting to move out with the, that Corsair count. Some Hydalisks starting to move out in the field. Want to try to make sure these Corsairs can't move freely. And actually a big flood of Hydralisks all of a sudden making their way across the map, potentially to go for either a front door bust or at the very least to contain, but the Zealots have managed to end around for DeWalt in the midst of this. Psystorms are being expended, another Psystorm on that front door. The Zealots moving in from behind, so they're going to be able to pin these Hydralisks. The Hydralisks trying to move to the north to get some distance, but this is a huge amount of Hydralisks here. An empty Psystorm to the north, and DeWalt, I don't know that he has enough. To pin this back, another Psystorm on the front. I'm looking for... I saw a Dark Templar being built someplace. I'm looking for that Dark Templar to sneak out in the field. Crossy losing additional Overlords that's keeping him in the red, so he's going to have to get it done with what he has. This Dark Templar, is that going to be enough? Starting to work on those Hydralis. The Hydralis pouring through the natural expansion, though, picking off additional High Templar. Zelt's trying to get more damage done. There's no Overlord anywhere nearby. Great Psystorm on that initial bunching, and it looks like between that, I think between that Dark Templar and that Psystorm, and additional units that are flooding out, DeWalt is going to be able to defend this natural expansion. Only four Hydralisks remaining. And so an overall win for DeWalt, because first of all, that was a huge army to just lose. That wasn't anything else, wasn't drones and whatnot. Crossy down to 55 supply. His overlords are very much at risk. Looks like a lot of these Corsair have been taken out in between, but they've managed to, uh, looks I believe, get a significant amount of kills between them. So seven kills on that Corsair. Not sure how many of that was in Mutilus and how much uh, of that was in Scourge. In between, the Dark Templar still wreaking havoc. Already has six kills, and Crossy wants to go for it again. Moving this Overlord from the north in position. Phenomenize Carapace is almost online. He's also working on Lurker Tech. More cannons being dropped down. At the very least, this is going to force... Yeah, more cannons to be dropped. Zealots moving out in the field. The Hydralists moving to the bridge, trying to micro against them. The Zealots have level 1 weapons, level 1 armor versus just level 1 weapons. There's that Dark Templar moving to the field. The Overlord just now hitting that speed. The Dark Templar peeling off. And more Hydralists moving up. Crossy indicating that he really wants to try to end the match now. He's well behind in supply. This High Templar does have... Actually, both High Templar look like they're on the verge of having some Psy Storms to work with. And that is going to be critical in this defense. DeWalt being very patient. First Psy Storm drops against a large grouping. The Dark Templar is starting to make its way. I don't think it's going to get a lot accomplished here at that 6 o'clock location. And now some Lurkers being morphed. So Crossy... Instead, opting to potentially go for a seal at this stage of things. That Overlord being pushed back by those Corsair. Another great Psy Storm. And I believe DeWalt is going to be able to press forward and clear everything else off that bridge. It looks like, yeah, trying to work a uh, cancellation on that Lurker. That Overlord's going to get picked off as well. More Hydals trying to move up. The Lurkers are down. An Observer already there as well. And the Zealots on top of the Lurker. Able to wipe them out, not before several of them lose their lives. More Psy Storm. A furious battle for map control. Breaking out. The Zealots moving to the... They've got them pinned into the corner. So they're going to get wiped out. An Archon moving forward and more Zealots peeling forward. So that DeWalt can keep his front door open. And just by the skin... Wow, just the last few units peeling forward. DeWalt able to clear his front door out. And now Crossy, I feel like he's in uh, a bit of trouble now. Looks like he wants to go ahead and try to grab an additional base. Corsair moving up to go ahead and... Looks like might get an additional Overlord kill despite the Hydalisk underneath. More Corsair. And I think these are the same Corsair. DeWalt also going to the 1 o'clock location. Sorry, 11 o'clock location. To go ahead, go ahead and get his base there. Spotted and sees that Crossy's thinking about grabbing another expansion in that bottom right-hand corner. Still keeping these overlords weak and potentially picking some off. Loses, oh. Critically loses one Corsair, loses two Corsair. That was a big shift, but a big army moving out now. Of Zealots, Archons, and a single High Templar. Corsair doing some damage to that overlord. And he's doing this while he's grabbing that 12 o'clock location. An overlord moving up is going to see that 
Here's the thing, Crossy sees that, I don't know that he can do anything about it. And while all that was happening, there was a drop with a Dark Templar into the main. No Overlord here. And I'm not sure if Crossy's going to see it because I don't think you get this alert. So does he, how long does it take while he's distracted here to realize that his main is getting assaulted? Now starting to work on the spawning pool. Peeling an alert. Good side storm in that midfield. Another great side storm across those Hydralisks. And Crossy just, yeah, bleeding. So while the attack's happening in the middle of the field, even if Crossy ends up winning this battle here, he's going to end up losing the overall war simply because no drones left at his main. That's 13 kills. So a great distractionary attack in the middle of the map. While this Dark Templar went to town and wiped out everything at Crossy's main. Crossy down to 26 drones and he's going to GG right there. Great play from DeWalt. Hero DT, Invisible Men, winning games for you, I tell you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.